today I have time on my hands, so I'm feeling like getting this done, getting all all of this done. So our next one is gonna be the Ask Kelly Reese's Old Ten Lap Challenge, and it's actually our last lap count of race, along with our last normal car race too. So this is an advanced level event held over ten laps of Spain's longest private race track, the Ask Kelly Reese's Old. You need a real balance machine to do this one justice. So ten laps on the Ask Kelly Four track. And I thought, why not end off with using one of our best cars, the C6 Corvette Z01. So here's entry requirements, of course, last normal car race. Here are typical opponents, and uh, let's go. Now considering that S car is not a track that I'm not too familiar with, I'm still gonna try to see if I can uh, make a way around here. Because um, they set up a long race here, so yeah. Alright, so let's check our options here. You know what I find weird? There's no V1, Hywell, or FXX in this race. It's just the normal supercars. No hypercars are in here. Well, in my own race, so yeah. Alright, let's go racing. That took a little while to roll off though. <laughs> but anyway, so um, yeah, this is our last normal car race. It is um an S Curry. Can we drive the C6 cover zero one one final time? And uh of course game starts, so get to the quick camera. Here we go. Now because of how things work around here, I'm gonna try to see if I can uh Yeah. Whoa! Oh, oh my god! What just happened there? I have no idea what the heck just happened. We're gonna... I'm gonna have to remind myself to check out the replay that happened at the beginning of the race because that's not gonna common for people to see. I guess those people wasn't really um, adjusted to um, this track after all. Going, going on the inside of an Audi R8 into the corner. Got 12 feet away from Jimenez right there. Or Jimenez. Gosh, I'm trying to pronounce it right. Jimenez, yeah. Now this is a high speed turn that I can go at, but the uh, opponents always break through this corner because they feel they'll go they go up the track. <laughs> I mean, there's some parts of this track that um. That seems like we can cut the corners, but uh, I don't know if the track of the game will let us, considering that there's now black flags in these races, so yeah. Yeah, because like because if you take a shortcut, more specifically all four shortcuts, then um you get black flag for three seconds and you have to slow down. Right, passing Penitence 458 I tell ya. That was a little rough going to that first corner, but yeah. Oh, got no, I don't want to go off board. At least, at least the uh, other thing that makes it feel better is that the fact that I'm now in the top half of the field. Seems like we still have some aggressive driving right up ahead of us. <laughs> 
<laughs> just like, you know, try to dive into one second's 4GT. <laughs> And it was clogged right there in the same car I'm driving, but thankfully, at least I won't slide this time, you know, from, you know, um, Ed 2 and stuff, because, um, you drive with different color COVID. Yeah, I'll climb some swag there. <laughs> Let's see if I can pass him for four. I can. There's uh, Rivian for the point spot and his tight corners. He's blocking me with this uh, much of where I go. Yep, he's still blocking me. He went well wide, but he blocks me again. Okay. Leave room. There we go. Got six. I'm just catching up to these two drivers right up ahead of me. As now a fifth of this race is uh, completed. Mod. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't, it didn't give me a penalty. It looked like it was a uh, dive bomb into a Viper right there. And I'm catching up to uh, Love's McGrillon MP4 12C that I used as the Willow Springs race. Because let me tell you, when I uh, played this game before to get 100%, I used this. I actually use this Corvette for both as Curry and Wilder Springs. It's just that uh, this car has some um, would hope would uh, do better driving with Tyro coming out, and that's Curry than Wilder Springs because um, that this car proved to be more unstable to drive when Tyro is um, worn out at Wilder Springs uh, than uh, when I used McLaren and before Tip C. I would say for Wilder Springs, McLaren before Tip C is more stable to use even when you're about to lose tire wheel than the Corvette, actually. I mean, they're both stable, I'm glad of that, but uh, McGowan before Tip C is more useful for Wilder Springs. I see this Corvette would be more useful for as Curry or something. I don't know. I mean, we'll all have to depend though, so yeah. I feel like getting this done, but it's most likely that these videos will possibly come out by, uh, come out these, this weekend. Well, by the time that you're watching this, this these videos will most likely come out by, the time, by this weekend. Because, um, school and such and stuff, and, uh, planning for the finale and stuff is, um, you know, coming to my mind right now, and I want to plan on the finale way ahead of time and get it done, so yeah. Plus, I have other things going on to the school and such, and yeah. My life's been a little, been a little bit busy, that's why. Because I don't want to take. Because I don't feel like wanting to take a school day to do recording when, I, when I'm when i actually supposed to be doing like homework and such. So yeah, I'm doing this on a Sunday. I don't usually record on Sundays, but I have to because I want to finish this game off. So yeah. There's a last place I can't keep up with the pack whatsoever. <laughs> and I'm just pulling away easily. Because of how long this track is and the main turns it has, this could be one of the longest races um in this uh in the superclass so far.
just driving carefully along with his cool pick. Just to think about those uh, corners where it seems like you can cut. Reminds me of, hey, do you remember Rise S5? Oh, yes, I do. It sucks so bad. Oh my god. I mean, like, it could be because of the car, too, but it's also because of how I'm supposed to handle the corners here. God, God that license test sucked. Took more attempts than the other license test and the super license <sighs> to get gold on. It really did. Good thing I don't have to do that anymore. And, um, looks like I'm gonna be making pit stop on this lap. My tires are getting worn, so I have to be careful on the turns. Even slowing down might be a factor, then so let it be. Because, um, of course, you can tell that the turns I'm taking wasn't as good as the previous laps were. I just noticed the tires are spinning. That's an early sign. As long as uh, we don't steal too much with the rear wheels, we should be okay. I think there's this big section right here though. Like one of three shoes. I'm just gonna declare that the uh, you know that the uh, icons you see, see right there, they they kind of look like shoes to me. Um, high heels included too. I mean, they kind of look like shoes, so yeah. Um, let's just say that uh, we're going to go. We're going. We're in the area of the third shoe right now, the high shoe. And uh, we're just uh, spinning all around here and stuff. Uh, can we please? Uh, Can we please be careful? Well, we can, but uh, must be extra cautious here because um, tires are spinning. So yeah. Now we have this last one here. We must. Be that was the kind of that was a sort of drift right there I took. All right, they about to catch up, but they won't be able to get catch up to your car by the time you enter pit road. So here we go. Finally. All right, now. With the, with the way the food's giving me, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be a little bit more challenging this time. 60. Hey, you guys might uh, hate me for this, but uh, I'm not, but uh, I'm doing this because of a challenge. If I run out of gas, then what is the point, then what's the matter? I might, I'm just a fall gap ahead of them, most likely, so yeah. I like how there's just, um, the pit service is being done and there's no pit war staff right here. There's no pit crew doing the service for you, it just does it on its own. So we have two drivers that just that decided to uh, take an extra lap off from pitting, so yeah. Most likely to pit on this lap. Oh yes, all my life. The theme I'm going to the 6 is playing right now in the background, so... If you want to listen, I'll possibly uh, shut up for you, so... Here you go.
That was a good move for second passing point Seska as a 4 GT. I'm possibly gonna pass Ruffs. We're going to Fortress C before he has the pit world. Because look how close I'm getting to him right now. But he's gonna block because of these turns. Oh, I gotta move. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna lead again. Yep, I told you. I told you. I, I had a feeling I was gonna pass him. Strong feeling I was gonna pass him before he hit the pit world, and uh, I did, so yeah. Those two just uh, decided to pit on number 6 instead of 5, like everyone else did. <laughs> yeah, this shows, this proves to show that, you know, with, I lowered the wheels that the game gave me by 2. To make it more challenging, in case we want to feel though, at least I have a big gap ahead of the pack though. At least I have a, uh, at least I have a big gap ahead of the pack, possibly enough time to be able to win the race and stuff. It's all because I'm aiming at the trophy, okay? And the next three races are time limit races, so that's my only chance with the lap count and stuff. Oh, here we go. Three laps to go here with Ask Koei. Seems like the left one tire of my car is the one that's surviving the most in this race. As you can possibly tell. Yep, I went to 70% just now and before that it was at 80% and the other two tires were at 70% too. Around. It's not exactly so, I would say around. So, because of number and stuff, yeah. I'm willing to say that the new way of determining Taiwa is now by balls now. You know, you know, the Taiwa will go down by, by the ball decreasing. Um, I don't really like that though. I mean, of course you can tell, but you cannot really determine it though. At least I can't. If you have, even if it's a tiny bit though, I can't really determine if tires are worn out or not. I mean, numbers for G6, they made it. They made it a little bit more easy, but um, I liked it better when the tire wear was around, you know, was was defined by color. Like blue is fresh, green is like you know, uh, so, still useful. Yellow is like getting worn out. Red is like you know, 
into the into the uh, hot zone for these tires. Like, like completely worn out. It's like you know, if they're covered red. So yeah, I like it better when the tire is determined by color instead of just just instead of just like you know the ball. Like you know, like it's emptied out. To, like you know, um, by like you know, removing like millimeters or something. Yeah, I like it better when it's colors, not this. So yeah. I don't know if this could be, in the, be another race where I just lap someone because it looks like I'm catching up to uh, last place right now and uh... well... <laughs> at least I kept it on the track though at least <laughs> We just have two laps to go this time by your ass, Koei And look at this, I'm a big gap ahead of, that, ahead of everyone it's probably because it's more uh, of a handling type of track though, and that the speed is what the uh, drivers have the advantage at. Because I'm because I'm taking the turn so well though, that um, that I'm a big gap away from everyone. Wow. Isn't this precious? Isn't this a precious moment? <laughs> I have to get closer, I can't really determine what's this what is this driver driving? Getting closer. Ooh, that was a that was a bump. And uh, I think still one of the people that got wrecked though, I don't know. It's a Zeta B sixteen T. Zeta, yeah. Yeah, I still have to remind myself. What happened that that week for you? I did I don't know. I'll let you guys see it too though. Cause I wonder what happened, cause an event like that would not normally happen in a race like like this and such. Like, how, look how far I am ahead, 50 and a half seconds ahead of second place. They might catch me, but for a long time. For a long time, my partner means between. 60, 60 and 90 seconds. In case I want to feel though. So yeah. <laughs> this is just crazy right here. Still got to take turns well because I'm losing tire well, as you can tell on my real tires. And this time around, when the last comes coming to this area, I'm not gonna go to pit wall, so I have to take one last turn. Well, which is this turn right here, in order to get a win. Alright, here we go. Last lap of the Ask Kelly Racers over 10 lap challenge. And uh, with the way that I'm going right now, it, it would now seem like that they are going to try and catch up to me. But yeah, I think you can tell where they are though. I know the car behind me, you know, the last arrow behind the red one, is not second place, because that's the last place driver that I lapped. I'm pretty sure you can tell where the second place though. I can't point to it because um you can't see my finger. I'm I'm not recording this with a camera, I'm recording my capture card. God dang it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you can tell um by the second marks and uh by the uh by how much they are behind me and also uh, where they're on the track. The biggest clue would be you know how be uh how far how much, uh, how far they behind me, like 51.767 seconds. Pretty sure that would be the easy way to determine where they're on the track. So yeah. Well guys, I'm on low field, so... Gotta make this one fast. <laughs> but wait, I remember the car break challenge that, uh, except anymore, it just, uh, gets rid of the feel even more. Uh, I don't even carry the way. Because, um, the tires are not going well <laughs> as of right now, so, yeah. On what may seem like I might be able to lap another person, it's most likely not gonna happen because um, um I'm under some circumstances right now, such as uh trying to get on a track with like you know worn tires and low feel. So yeah, I mean like it's possibly I'm possibly gonna be able to win this race because um I'm so far ahead of second place right now. If you still can tell where they are on the track, then uh yeah. 
Yeah, I'm so far ahead. Oh wait, two more turns to go. Come on. Oh boy, look at the field. It's uh, well, it's um, being red and uh, so low. Look at the meter. Yeah. Trying to get on one tires and there we go. See, we got everything under control here. Told you that we'd be able to win this race, and we did. I imagine it's just gonna be a long time wait for them, considering that um, I had a 50 second gap ahead of left <laughs> right there. And I guess that the uh, that wasn't enough for you know, to get the trophy, but uh, you know it's whatever though. It's whatever though. I mean, I tried to get that trophy, but um, well, I don't know. Loved has just finished 55 and a half seconds right behind me. Wow, that was that was a far gap I had. A really far gap. And Clark my uh my other half, able to turn it by Carl, finished third. Please finish on podium and the rest of the drivers don't even finish before the screen fades. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that ends off our normal car races in this game. Ever. As I earn 230,000 and I'm possibly gonna get to like 3 million. Most likely get to 3 million in the next part, so yeah. So yeah, we have four parts we have to go in this game. We have the color pick challenge and we, then we have three other ways of events we have to go, so. I'm gonna try to get this done. As we're now gonna get towards the 24 minute events. <laughs> oh my god, 24 minutes. Well, we go back to the racing cars and have a shot at floor types, too. Alright everyone, thank you all for watching and I hope you have a very good night.